morning, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Cal Bay, day 247. Solo ride today after yesterday's six hour adventure. Epic, uh, epic ride. Today's a solo one, gonna get another four hours in but I got some 20 minute sweet spot efforts to do. So sort of high zone three, low zone four. Uh, the goal is to do one effort per hour but that might vary a little bit depending on you know the route and terrain and stuff but it's not too much of an issue. Just done the first one now, heading out towards Val de Ebo, which I think is about six or eight kilometers. Ideal for another effort. Uh, yeah, then we'll go from there. The sun's back out today. As you can very, very clearly see, the sky is this, don't pull out me, thank you. The sky is very blue, but I'm not taking any chances. I'm heading into the mountain, so I'm prepared. I'm prepared for anything. I've just come from down there, down from the coast, up that climb, and the top is just around that corner. I finished my F, I peaked about 500 meters too soon. There was snow right at the top of Valdeva there. There was at, like snow. That is why I've got a long sleeve kit on today. But um, yeah, there's nothing better is there when you're riding at sweet spot. So I was sitting at 340, 350 watts, and uh, FDJ come past you like you stood still. They seem to be doing some sort of race like five to ten minute race efforts from what I could gather. They're in groups of like three. They're chasing each other. I don't know, it looked, whatever they were doing, it looked painful. I had to jump on the lads for a second, but they were riding like well over, well over 400 watts. And I wanted to keep it in my own zone, so I just let them go. But yeah, all the pros seem to be on the climb today. Also saw Puck Moon in descending, the rider for Lotto, the female rider for Lotto, and uh, shortly followed by Lawrence Tendam. But now I'm currently going through the village of Val Oh, I don't know how much is a dead end. Is it dead end? Um, it's not. Okay, so yeah, this is the town of Valdeva. It's just bizarre. It's like a real local town. Maybe everyone's having a siesta because there looks like absolutely zero life in this town. I don't know. Maybe there's been a zombie apocalypse and everyone's dead. I don't know. It's uh, not a lot's going on anyway. I don't know. There's a person. I'm currently going down a road that I was looking on a satellite map this morning and I found this road and the town might look pretty sweet. It goes from the top of Val Diego across to Castells Castells. I'll show you now on a map. Um, but yeah, it's not a common cycling road. I'm currently going down it now. The tarmac is perfect, man. Like, look at that, it's just so, so cool. In the middle of nowhere, there's no halves, no nothing. It's like going through a little bit of a valley. Yeah, nice little find this morning. No doubt I'll be coming down here a little bit more. And literally I've not passed any cyclists since I've started on this road. Like it's one of those one of those roads that no one really knows about, I don't think. Maybe people do know about it, they just don't they just don't ride down here. Who knows? I don't know. It's cool though anyway, check this out. Oh boy, that's the top. Sakurata, 780 meters. That's also three efforts done. Normally when I do this session, I do three times 20, but today, because I'm doing four, I didn't want to go out too hard in the first few efforts, so just kept a lid in the first three, and then I'll try and open her up a bit now on the fourth one. Top of that climb is like a 10 or 15k descent all the way, back, all the way down to the coast uh, where I'll do the last effort. Man, these descents are so much more fun in the dry. You can just rail the turns and take such nice lines and carry so much speed through.
Okay, I'm not gonna milk this too much. I crashed my bike. I like I haven't done much damage. Just done some damage to my hip. Quite sore to touch and to ride. So basically what happened was I did three and a half hours of the ride. Coming down the final descent, you know, as you saw on the GoPro, perfectly fine. It was an amazing descent. It was nice and dry. Got to the bottom of the descent, was rolling through a town, rolling through Altea. Turned left at a roundabout outside a petrol station. It was bone dry. I was probably doing about 15 miles per hour at like, tops 15 miles per hour i was not going fast at all just about to start my last effort so i think i was thinking about my last effort you know i wasn't going i wasn't thinking about going fast around this roundabout and then i stacked it i must have hit a bit of oil even though like i stood up and i had a look and i couldn't see anything on the ground but i must have hit a little bit of oil lost control of both wheels they both slid out and i landed on my hip yeah that's the know that's not not a lot to really to say about that crash i had to ride home the last 30 45 minutes literally pedaling 100 watts just turning the pedals i couldn't stand up on my hip i couldn't ride any harder than that so I, obviously i couldn't do my final effort i only did three of three out of four of the 20 minute efforts that i was set today i'm thinking it's just a little bit of bro bruising to the bone or the muscle so hopefully by tomorrow that pain should go and i can ride my bike as normal again but uh, yeah just for the rest of today i think i'm just gonna take it easy hopefully my hip gets better a proper limp on right now had a quick look over the bike i don't think i've done any damage all that i can see is um this this hood is a little bit ripped so i'm gonna need to get a new hood because that's sliding all over the place the same for this one it's ripped here as well but structurally wise everything appears to be okay because like i said i wasn't going fast it was like one of those slow motion crashes and had i not landed on my hip everything would have been all right i've also ripped a leg warmer but hey things could always be worse i said i wasn't going to milk this crash but i think i will do a bit where are we off to calf for cake what, what cake we're gonna get carrot cake yeah back at peter pan's that one. i want that one <laughs> i want that one i want that one Stand there and laugh at me all you want. Why are you hobbling? I fell on my hip, didn't I? No swearing in the vlog. Because I flipping fell on my hip. What happened? I've, I've already told the camera what happened. I've already told them <laughs> I made a mistake and crashed. But apparently, say it again. Say how stupid you are. I'm not stupid. There's oil on the roundabout, so the person who left oil on the roundabout was stupid. We made it round the roundabout without crashing. We did, didn't we? We did. But uh, apparently, I need to keep it moving, so that's what we're doing. By sitting in a van driving. <laughs> It's your shop. What does monge mean? <laughs> <laughs> I know what it sounds like. <laughs> Alright, I decided that I w didn't want to end the video last night. I wanted to end it this morning um, to so I could sleep on it. Then I was hoping that I would be able to bring it to the camera and say after a night's sleep, the hip's completely fine and it was only a little impact wound, a bit of bruising. But I woke up this morning, uh, put my shorts on, headed out on the bike and yeah, man, I couldn't even like pedaling 150 watts is, is sore so, so you're going to see all this in tomorrow's video because i'm going to record a new vlog today the day that you're watching the video uh where i'm going to go down to the local i'm going to go down to the local hospital get an x-ray on it and you know then we can go from there hopefully uh, well obviously hopefully hopefully nothing is going to be uh, fractured or broken or anything uh, and it's just going to be a case of a day or two of, of rest but yeah we're not going to know that uh, and i think it's i think it's a good procedure it's a good prevention strategy so we just know like clearly and completely if there is anything up with my hip and if i have done any more prominent uh serious damage to it what does this mean now i don't know man obviously it's frustrating it's very very frustrating i hadn't crashed for a very long time and now i've had two crashes in pretty quick su succession luckily the last crash that i had it was on ice so i slid and, and i didn't really do much damage i didn't miss any training as you you know i'm sure you've all you've all watched the, that that video but now we're in spain in the middle of uh, in the middle of calpe in the middle of my my like, big training block i did a four hour day today in this in this vlog i did a six hour ride yesterday i've done you know 41 hours since i've been here in spain training's been going really well and to just get this like kicking the balls almost it, yeah it's pretty hard to take but i guess what you just have to remember is like there's not a lot you can do about this situation it's it's happened it, it you know it's happened now and all i can do is the best that i can do physically for myself to get better and the first step to that is uh, just having a positive outlook on like how things are going to proceed from here i'm confident we'll bounce back and you know one of the positive things that we, we can take from this is 
at least this crash didn't come the day after arrest day. You know, I've, at least I've done two good days of training prior to this crash, so I can afford to take a day or two off now uh, without really feeling too too guilty about it. But yeah, guys, stay tuned for tomorrow's video um, where we're gonna have some we're gonna have some answers hopefully. But thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. I'm gonna try and keep a smile on my face. I'll see you tomorrow at Just 4 p.m. Watch me